Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. And it's Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And it's Monday, March 30th, and we're here for your Monday morning uh, online devotion. We're going to do responsive prayer to today. Uh, before we get to that, though, we're going to sing uh, a fairly well-known Lenten hymn, Savior, When in Dust to Thee. And I think we will do verses 1 and 4. Elizabeth is going to lead us. Savior, when in dust to Continue in your hymnal on page 285 with responsive prayer 2. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We're going to do a little reading today from our gospel reading yesterday, just the tail end of it for the fifth Sunday in Lent. This is from the Gospel of John, the 11th chapter, and we're going to start at the 38th verse. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me, but I said this on account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with linen strips, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to him, to them, unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. So this was our gospel reading for yesterday, and uh, it's the fifth Sunday in Lent yesterday. So we're nearing towards the completion of the season, and this is the last resurrection, or rather this is the last miracle that we have in John, the seven of seven signs, as I said yesterday. And all of these things are leading up to telling us who Jesus said, I, who Jesus is. I, I said yesterday that uh, John's gospel contains seven signs, and this being the last of the seven. And all of them are like um, uh, encircling the identity of Jesus. They all point to the identity of Jesus uh, in terms of his ability to raise the dead and to have mastery over creation and to uh, undo the effects of sin. And so this is what John's gospel is saying in the first 11 chapters. And it's also giving us a preview of the resurrection of Jesus. Uh, it's going to be coming up in just a few, couple short weeks now on Easter Sunday. So let's continue now with the Kyrie on 285. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you. For you answer me. Hide your face from my sins. And blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. For you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Well, Elizabeth, do you have any announcements for this morning? Uh, we have women's Bible study tonight at 6.30 through Zoom. Uh, the link was sent out through our church e-newsletter. Um, if you have not received that, please reach out to me through my either my email, deaconesshslc at sbcglobal.net, um, and I can get that link to you. Um, and so we will be doing that at 6.30, and I look forward to, see, to seeing you all then. And we have, uh, again, our midweek, last midweek Lenten service this coming Wednesday. And then um, we also have uh, adult instruction class tomorrow night. This will be our last one for online. Uh, morning devos, devos tomorrow morning uh, around this same time. And I, well, oh, uh, there's a question. A yeah, if you need a hymnal, let us know. And uh, there was a question that came up in our Bible study yesterday about the coronavirus and is God punishing us with the coronavirus? And I'll address that today uh, with a email newsletter post and, and social media post. So uh, stay tuned for that. The Lord bless your week. We look forward to seeing you all soon. And uh, if not, catch us online.